Hello. Um, just to let you know that I'm got airtime working on my Mac and between my iPod Touch and my Mac, so that's good. Mostly useless crap. Brother made me get that tap out, by the way. And uh, <laughs> this game was finally optimized for the larger screen. Welcome back. Yeah, you welcome back. Yeah, let's get this in mode for you guys. EA's great programming. All they did was just fill out the top and the bottom. They didn't really add anything when they <laughs> yet when they made the update, they said they had. No, oh, they have it. And of course Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. This game finally stops crashing on me from the last iPod. Thank you. it's not optimized that's why you got the black bars you think the Wii U's loading times are long and this is supposed to have a dual A5 process uh, Mostly just other useless crap games. But anyways, I am been having... I mean, for the most part, this is a great uh, little gadget here. Finally got an LED light. Yeah, it didn't take Apple long to figure out that they should have put that on these iPod touches. The camera is a little oversized for the holder. I don't get it. It's been causing minor problems, but nothing really serious. But I do have one serious complaint. This home button is utter shit. I mean, on the iPod Touch, it's complete and utter shit. I mean, what the fuck, Apple? It's like they went to town and fixed everything else and made everything all modern but when they got to the home button they just slept on it I mean it's like it's half on there it's I mean it's not loose but it's not put on there very well if not at all I got all my previous information on here so I got it all And that's for the whole NBA James. I only bought the uh, iOS version. Thanks, kitty. You don't have to play with my keys. And there is some minor amounts of lag here. In AirPlay, yeah, I've been having some weird connection there issues. But if I play a game constantly on here, then the lag becomes more noticeable to the point that, how can I say this, pretty much the quality outright just goes to shit. And it's just a miserable fucking mess. Well, not completely miserable. And another thing, uh, you can't see this, but down here and here, and by the way, I'm using something called Air Server to uh, stream my um, iPod Touch 
Generation 5 on uh, my computer screen. You can also do it with uh, the previous, I mean, iPhone 4S. The, you can do it with iPhone 4S all the way up to iPhone 5. And it went to sleep mode. And, and all the way up. Uh, you can only do it with the 5th generation iPod Touch. Uh, as well as the new iPad and I think you can do it with pretty much all the iPads I don't know and if you can hear that that's my cat biting at something but I was gonna as I was saying you can't see here but I've been having some bizarre problems I wonder if anyone else has been having this but in here in these two corners it's like it doesn't even register my fingers some of the times it's at the bottom end of the screen, at the two corners, and I've been trying to figure out what it is. Yes, Maps is shit. Apple has apologized for Maps. Go figure. But you know, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. I mean, it's it it mostly works most of the time. But when I get into games like Batman Arkham City or anything that's not optimized and you know and I end up with the two bars at the top and bottom, it really gets bizarre. And then sometimes I'll even register uh, things that I haven't done. And as for the background, I had to put up a background real fast because my old one just stopped was just useless. So yeah, that was a quick fix background. <sighs> Other than that, this is actually not a bad device. I just don't understand it. And yes, I, I mean, AirPlay is nice, but AirPlay on Apple TV was just garbage. And there's no real program to get AirPlay to work on Mac OS unless you get, like, Air Servers, which I, I don't get. I mean, seriously. And with Apple throwing their iPod Touch completely off of their app store, I mean, off their hardware store now, which isn't here. Oh, wait, there it is. It's in the extra crap you can get. I, you know, I just don't see any use for, any use for this anymore. Well, that's all I have to say. See you later. And yeah, I think Apple TV is pretty much dead.